would have asked me two years ago how I take care of myself what those activities are, what the evidence is that I take care of myself. I would have said that I make sure to make enough money to support all of my needs and desires singularly without help. Um, that I have a gym membership that I eat salad whenever possible and as little as possible the other times when I'm not eating salad. That I have someone clean my house on a regular basis. That I buy whatever I want whenever I want. I don't deny myself retail therapy. Then I live in a nice place. Yes, and yoga. That was part of it. And now my understanding of that is... Um, more subtle um, and also more uh, overt in terms of the choices that I make about my schedule, um, how I spend my time with myself and with others, and how I talk to myself about doing and the list of priorities that I have and the types of rewards that I require in order to keep myself um, motivated and aligned. My motivation and alignment comes from feeling now. And the feeling I get each morning from visiting my own body, going deeper, going more subtle, and the insights that I get there, those feed me, they wake me up, they replenish me, they remind me of the gift of life. I also take care of myself by consciously dwelling in beauty. And not beauty products, not the appearance of beauty in the form that's been defined to me by the fashion industry or by lifestyle magazines, but the um, inherent stillness and beauty of what is, which is the exquisite example that nature provides in every moment without effort or haste. I always remember this quote from my Zen journal, which says, Nature never hurries, yet all is accomplished. Of course, that's from the Tao. And I, as I watch nature, I notice how it never hurries. Even in times of tumult, in a storm, etc., It never hurries. The sun never hurries. The moon never hurries. The clouds don't hurry. The rain doesn't hurry. The waves in the ocean never hurry. The seals, the birds. The infinite life inside a tiny tide pool. Looking no more like a puddle. None of it hurries, and yet everything is always accomplished. These reassurances are forms of nourishment for me because they're consciously received. They're felt. So I guess the 
main way that I take care of myself is I pay attention to what I'm feeling. When I'm feeling it as well as after. Sometimes I'm not made aware of it until after and that's okay. It's a form of noticing. Remembering is a form of noticing. And I remember beauty as well as the more um, confusing or complicated feelings about that, that we're normally averse to. So that I cultivate a place <clears throat> that is less attached and less averse to all things. And that <clears throat> is an internal and subtle way of taking care of my self, this self that is my internal awareness and connection to that is and Thank you. 